All right, guys, it's official. Bonafide just released their first pedal kayak. It's called the Bonafide P127 or P127. It's an all new platform with uh, native Propel uh, pedal drive in it. Um, I'm gonna run you through the specs really quick. It is said to be coming out in October. So you got a 12 foot seven boat. It's 34 inches wide. Uh, it's 15.5 inches high. You know, that's the depth of the, the boat. The fitted hull weight is 120 pounds and your weight capacity is 475 pounds. You have a bow hatch with double header hinges like found on the SS-127. Uh, you got a drop in bow storage bin, same thing there. Um, it is a different front hatch though, so I don't think you can reuse that storage bin or whatever. It may come with it, I'm not sure. Uh, you have a fat grip bow handle with a retractable stern handle. It's pretty standard for bonafide stuff. Integrated transducer protection and wiring routing because you don't have a dry pod anymore because of the pedal drive that's there. Um, you have Yak Attack aluminum gear track. You have side carry handles, the Omni hook stern tank well with tie downs, deck traction pad, bow and stern mounting inserts. Now this one's really cool because you can have a power pole on the front or the back. And from what I've seen in Chad Hoover's video, which I'll link to right here, he does a complete walkthrough of the uh, P127. Um, so those front inserts can also be used for anything. I mean, they come with a blank mounting plate that goes there. So you can mount a um, gear track, you can mount a front trolling motor, like a bow mount trolling motor, and you can mount a power pole, obviously, but you can mount one in the back too. So you can have two power poles as well as, you know, endless stuff that you can mount on to the front there. So let's keep going. We have a stern access plate for hole access. That's to access your hole and your rudder lines. Replaceable dual stern skid plates, which, you know, pretty standard on Bonafide. High rise XL width seat. So it looks like it may be a wider seat and it's, you know, it's on a track so you can adjust for your pedals. But it does look similar to a Bonafide seat, which are very comfortable on the SS series. Quick draw rod stagers which, you know, they have rod stagers and they have like tubes that run up the bow of the kayak where you can put your rod tips in and then they have a place for the rest, the butt of the rod. Um, you have a hand steering on the left side. It's the same uh, steering handle as the native. Dual rod tip covers, already went over that. Rod holders, which in this Bonafide, you do have two molded in rod holders, which the SS series does not have. And then it comes with scupper plugs. It comes in three colors. We have camo, venom, and top gun gray, which I'm assuming is their most popular three colors. You kind of got like a stealth one in the camo. You've got a cool looking one that's uh, very minimal in the top gun gray. And then you have that bright venom if you want to be seen on the water. Oh, they did release the price. It is $29.99, so it's $3,000. It looks like the same hole design as the, the SS127 uh, and you know, the rest of the Bonafide lineup. That's pretty much what they're known for. But here's what they're rating by category. Flat water is a 10, slow currents nine, fast current seven, choppy water eight, surf is a six, stability 10, speed seven, tracking nine, agility seven, comfort nine. Still, I wouldn't say it's a surf boat. You're not gonna punch through the surf with this boat. Um, that's one thing I did. I thought I saw a more curved bow on it, but uh, apparently not. It's it's the same kind of catamaran style hull. So inshore, I would say it's pretty good. Freshwater, you're good. Offshore saltwater, if you can get through the surf, you'd probably be all right. But it doesn't seem like that's gonna be its strong point is punching through surf. So Bonafide finally did it. They brought out a pedal drive for all their customers that really wanted a pedal drive. If that interests you, now you have it. Um, it'll be $3,000 and comes out in October. Anyways, guys, Hopefully you enjoyed. Go check out Chad Hoover's video, and I will see you in the next one.